Hi, I normally don't like influencer collaboration palettes uh, simply because, you know, I feel that those palettes are, the shades included in those palettes are based more on, you know, that influencer's sort of subjective or uh, preferences rather than on market research or on current trends. So that's why I don't really love uh, influencer collab palettes and don't actually own any of them. But when I saw the Tammy Revolution palette, that is a collaboration between beauty YouTuber Makeup by Tammy and Makeup Revolution drugstore brand based in the UK, um, I sort of knew I wanted this palette. Um, this palette is called the Tropical Paradise palette. You probably guessed that from that packaging. Very, very tropical indeed. Um, 23 eyeshadows made in Taiwan, not in China. So Tammy said that she wanted this palette to be colorful but wearable. Colorful but wearable. That struck a chord with me. Wearable normally means boring or neutral. And colorful normally means, you know, virulent enough to be seen from the moon with your naked eye. So colorful but wearable is a nice combination and appealed to me straight away. So I knew I wanted it. The other obvious thing is the name of the palette. Tropical Paradise Beaches, Warmth, or the Caribbean from where Tammy is originally, I believe. And uh, Tammy also, being a woman of color, Tammy wanted this palette to be versatile and to be able to be worn by women of every skin tone possible. And that is another reason I wanted this palette. Because, you know, in a lot of palettes, I find that there are at least two shades which I can't pull off on my skin tone. I mean, the pastels, I can never ever pull off pastels on my skin tone. Some electric brights, I can't, uh, Yellow, I can never pull off yellow on my skin tone or yellow variants. I can't pull off um, pale orange, I can't pull off anything pastel. I can't pull off neon green, I can't pull off electric green, I can't pull off uh, electric pink. So lots of limitations there. And uh, it is very difficult to come up with a palette of colors that are usable by every possible skin tone. And I actually feel Tammy has done just that. But before we talk about the shades, quick word about the packaging. This is what it looks like. This is the external box, tropical as you can guess, very apt for the name. Now inside the palette itself is rose gold, hurrah. Now the size and feel of it is very, very similar to the Freedom Pro palettes from Makeup Revolution, but this one is a lot heavier, much, much, much heavier than the Freedom Pro palettes. Also the Freedom Pro palettes do look a bit cheap with that plastic. This one doesn't, it's lovely rose gold. Now inside is where the magic happens. The layout is very similar to the Freedom Pro palette. Hang on, I'll just show you that in a minute. Full-sized mirror, very large. And that's the Freedom Pro palette. The difference is that the Freedom Pro palette had an applicator here. Instead, the Tammy palette does not have an applicator, but has three sort of transition mats here. So 20 eyeshadows in the Freedom Pro palettes and 23 eyeshadows in the Tammy palette. So the only thing I absolutely dislike about the Tammy Makeup Revolution palette is that the 23 eyeshadows have shade names, unlike Freedom Pro, um, and the shade names come on this little slip, come printed on this slip. So it looks like this, hang on. And the slip keeps falling off every five seconds and keeps disappearing every 10 seconds. So it's very difficult to sort of remember the shade names and uh, get hold of them. So once this uh, review is over, I'm going to chuck the slip and uh, be done with it because I'm going to have to tell you what the shade names are right now. And after that, I don't care. I mean, I give a rap sauce as to what the shade names are. You know, you want to apply them, not uh, learn their names by heart. So these are the shades and that is where the magic is in my book and i think tammy has done exactly what she has promised shades that can be worn by everybody and the good news is that apart from all the warm neutrals that you see there are blues and greens in here so right now i am wearing a mauve smoky look with this one this one at uh, this one and this one four eyeshadows for one makeup look. That's not so bad, is it? So I will be doing more eye makeup looks with this palette as we go on. So these three sort of um, transition shades are all matte, of course, and they suit pretty much every skin tone, or you can just mix and match. And uh, among these 20 eyeshadows here, there are eight mattes. Everything else is either satin or shimmery. 
and there is no chunky glitter here no you know very huge glitter now what I am going to do is that I'm going to do a makeup look with these eyeshadows after having done my foundation because that for me is the ultimate test let's see how much fallout there is going to be on uh, my cheekbones and uh, on my under eye area it, once I and and you know that I'm klutzy you know I'm heavy-handed you know I dig a dig a dig and let's see if any meat da. So first I'm going to apply coconut cream all over my eyelids. Now I'm going to apply rainforest on the crease. So there are two reasons I've already done my foundation today. The first is that these days my foundations are boring because they're acne safe. The second reason is that I want to test out fallout of this eyeshadow palette. Now I want some precision work. So I'm going to go in with Paradise. On the, on the outer corners using the Wet n Wild P10 brush from the Pro series. And I'm going to go in with the same eyeshadow on the inner one-thirds of my lids as well. So first I'm going to apply a bit of Minus Toe Lauda Double Wear Flawless Concealer right in the middle of the eyelid. Now to take some Golden Suns and apply it on top of that. Now I'm going to swatch these for you and because there are 23 eyeshadows and one forearm available, not a very large one at that, um, I am afraid that I'm going to have to do this off camera because otherwise we'll be here all week with me scrubbing and trying to get rid of, I mean trying to make room and all that sort of thing, big mess. So let's do this off camera. Um, I will, however, swatch some of these live. So let's swatch the blues and the greens first. Let's start with Paradise, which is a nice olive green. A nice goldy olive green, I must add. Absolutely beautiful, and that pigmentation. So next, because we're doing greens first, let's do Rainforest, which is a matte. You know this is going to be... Uh, incredibly good. Oh, yes. Third, let's do Waterfall, obviously a blue. No, no problems while swatching. Doesn't look patchy or anything. Uh, no problems there. To the touch, it did feel a bit uh, patch, uh, dry. So next, let's do that golden color. It's called Golden Suns, not a matte. Oh, now this is actually quite a wearable gold. Let's do another five. Um, first up, let's start with tropical. A matte. Yeah, my watch isn't the way, is it? Oh well. So that's the first one, tropical. Next, we're going to do Coraline, which is what I am wearing all over the eyelids right now. So next, let's do Carnival. Oh my. Now let's do Puppy Pops, which is what I'm wearing in the crease and in the outer corners. And I also smoked it up with Midnight Stroll. So Puppy Pops is matte. Unfortunately, Puppy Pops is a bit patchy. It can be built up, I suppose. Or maybe it's because I've been swatching and swatching and, you know, um, taking the swatches off with uh, wet uh, with a cleansing wipe. 
So I don't know if that is the reason, but either way, this didn't turn out as smoothly as the others did. So let's do uh, one more, Caribbean. Ignore my stained fingers, this eyeshadow everywhere now. So that one came out well, Caribbean. I think it was because of my fingers. Let's do one last eyeshadow, or maybe two. Let's do Majestic next. Majestic had a bit of a patchy problem as well. I think it is because I'm using the same fingers and sort of, you know, taking off the colour with uh, a cleansing wipe, and that is the reason. Uh, ignore my head, it's very poofed up because of all the heavy rains that we've been having. There's a lot of humidity right now. So finally, I'd like to do one more shade, Burning Heat. That's Burning Heat. So as you can see, lots of pigmentation there, beautiful colours, wearable on my skin tone. I can't see anything that is going to look uh, awkward or, you know, unwearable on me. Now, performance. Um, I did tell you that a couple of shades, particularly Majestic and uh, Waterfall, Waterfall felt a bit dry to the touch and Majestic appeared a bit patchy uh, whilst watching. However, there were no such problems while applying it to the eyes and uh, as you've seen from my makeup look there, there was very little fallout on the under eye area or on the top of my cheekbones, while uh, despite having a heavy hand and despite sort of going at it nicely with a makeup brush. So, very good performance there. There is some kickback when you do dig at it with a brush, but not anything when you apply it on the lids. For reference, I always use eye primer. Now for me, this is the perfect travel palette because there are some neutrals, some everyday colors, some warms, some mauve colors, some mauves and pinks as well, some blues and greens, and uh, one lovely little uh, ochre gold there for everybody, and lovely transition shades for every skin tone, so, and a very large mirror. So this for me is the ideal travel makeup palette. And the good news is that it is only £10. Can you believe it? Just £10 of Makeup Revolution. Link to buy this is in the description box below. They ship worldwide. And it is made in Taiwan, not in China, if anybody has issues with that. And uh, I know that a lot of people think that uh, Makeup Revolution comes up with a lot of tubes. That is true. Uh, but uh, they also have a lot of original palettes. And of late, we're seeing more of those rather than the dupes. And when they do come out with something original, it's incredible and mind-blowing. So I highly recommend this palette uh, for all skin tones and for all sort of uh, eyelid types. Uh, and it contains everything. It contains colourful shades, but it contains wearable colourful shades. I think Tammy has said exactly what she said she was going to do with this palette. Now, so far, I've used pretty much every shade in this palette, except for this one over here, which is called Moonlight. I mean, that doesn't really appeal to me. I mean, if I want an inner corner highlight, I go in for this one, which is called Pina Colada, and, uh, or if I'm using something matte, if I'm using only matte eyeshadows, I go in for this one, which is Coconut Cream. So I haven't really used this one. Apart from that, I've used all of them, and you've seen how I've used four eyeshadows to get the look that I'm wearing right now. And I must say that I'm terribly impressed with the performance of this palette. I am more impressed than I was with the Frida Pro palette. I'm more impressed than I was with any Makeup Revolution palette so far. Very, very incredible pigmentation. Kickback within the pan, but not on the eyelids. No fallout while applying eyeshadow on the lids, despite being as heavy-handed, being as, you know, klutzy and rough as you might like, which is insanely good. So I'm going to take this palette along while traveling and I'm going to do quite a few looks. I will be showing you some of those looks as we go along um, and uh, you can see for yourself that this is going to be one of the best loved palettes in my stash, especially for this year. I wouldn't be surprised if this one featured among my favorites as well. Uh, this is easily my favorite beauty influencer meets makeup brand collaboration palette so far. I mean, uh, I'm not a fan of all the other collabs that we've seen so far. They're quite subjective. There are plenty of eyeshadows that I can't really use. And let me tell you, a palette like this is actually bad in the sense that it spoils me and I tend to expect more and more uh, palettes where I can use every eyeshadow, every pan in that palette. You know, normally I have a sort of minimum of 75%. If, I'm, uh, 70, if I can use 75% of eyeshadows in a particular palette, I'm quite happy and satisfied. No longer, this one spoiled me thoroughly. This one, it's not that I can't use it, it's just that I don't need it. 
So apart from that, you know, every shadow, very good on my skin tone, that's sort of spoiling me and is a bad idea when it comes to future eyeshadow palettes, isn't it? So if you are looking for a colourful but wearable eyeshadow palette that's versatile, suitable for all skin tones, that's not just, you know, the old peachy, burnt, orangish neutrals, but lots of mauves and berries, lots of burgundies, blues and greens, transition shades that suit everybody, incredible pigmentation, very little fallout on the eyelids, uh, no creasing, no smudging, all day wear. So all in all, an excellent palette, not just for the summer, but also for the fall, thanks to all the berry and uh, sort of fall burnt shades in there and uh, comfortable, silky, soft uh, shadows. Then the Tammy Revolution palette, Tropical Paradise palette, is a very, very good choice and is possibly one of the best palettes that we've seen this year. And it's only £10. Come on, you can't go wrong with £10. And it's also the perfect travel palette. So link to buy this is in the description box below. Um, I highly recommend it and I intend to buy a few to give as gifts during the holiday season. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please do hit the subscribe button. And I'll speak to you soon.